Okay. okay. What's up guys? It's me, Daryl Williams. This is a vlog slash apartment tour because I recently just moved to Astoria. So it's been a lot has happened since the last time we spoke face to face, you know? So let's uh, kind of, I'm a tour of the apartment and kind of talk with changes that have happened in my life since the last time we did this. So right now we're standing in the foyer. So actually, if you remember my last apartment, it's like 400 square feet, no closet, um, no actual foyer area. The kitchen, living room are all one. The bedroom was like a closet. You should go watch that video if you don't remember that. But now we're in an apartment that's twice the size, about 840 something square feet with closets and with a foyer that we're standing in right now. So as you walk in, you can see I threw a little bit of convenient shoe rack right here because even though we have a huge coat closet over there with a shoe rack inside, you kind of always need your everyday shoes when you come out. And over here, my wife bought this, it was a really cool keys, my stuff on top, she was her key stuff. And this is Louis paw pads, his little shoes, and his leash. Have you guys met Louis? I don't think I had Louis the last time I did a vlog. Hey guys, meet Louis. This is our puppy who is one year and a month old now. Or actually he's almost a year and two months. Yeah. So cool. So that's our puppy. He's gonna follow us around as we do this apartment tour slash vlog. So here we have upgraded his own washroom. We got a stackable washer and dryer, and we can fit the iron board, iron, and all the other stuff that I don't want to see on a daily basis. And then behind me is the bathroom. Since you guys are here listening to me rant, um, I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna do to the place when we own it. So this is a lease purchase. Um, what does that mean? We're doing a rent to own with the seller. We negotiated the rental price. We negotiated the sales price. We put a deposit down to lock in that sales price. If you know anything right now, the New York market is crazy. Market all across the country is crazy. Prices are going up. <clears throat> if you don't remember, I am also a real estate agent, so I'm in this in the trenches every day. So we locked in the purchase price so that you know if the market goes up, if prices continue to rise as inventory becomes less, when we go to pull the trigger in December, I'm hoping this will be worth more than the actually purchase price, because then we can close it as an equity property. That's what I'm plotting. But anyway, so this is the bathroom. Um, it's decent, but I hate it. So we're gonna gut this bathroom completely. Um, gonna make this a shower tub situation, you know, like a little deeper shower, have the half glass door here, uh, bring the shower head higher and do like a rainfall shower and probably do um, Calcutta quartz throughout the whole bathroom for the tile and get rid of this stone floor right here. So those are just some of the plans. I, I, I dislike this floor so much. My wife likes it, but we have totally different tastes. So here we have a linen closet and a coat closet slash shoe closet slash the vacuum, the broom, and where everything else lives, which is so nice to have because in our last apartment, everything was just so exposed because there was no storage in the entire apartment. So it's really awesome to have this. I won't open it because you don't need to see what's inside there. And across from the full bath, we have a half bath, AKA powder room. Which is nice, you know, the toilet and sink. So if we both need to use the bathroom, no one's gonna be like, hey, I need to use the bathroom to take a shower because there's another bathroom right here. And possibly in the future, we could make it a full bathroom, but that's probably not we're gonna do the initial renovation, but maybe because something's gonna be down the line. But it's just nice to be able to, you know, have my privacy in the morning <laughs> in the bathroom. This is crooked. It's crooked. This bothers me so much, guys. I should never hang photos of myself. Um, it's not my expertise. Uh, this is my favorite photo we've ever actually taken though. Very classic, I should get that on the hoodie. But anyways, over here, so remember we have two bedrooms now. Here is the guest bedroom, bedroom, which is so big. We get so much light in this apartment, even though it's north facing, but we get a little bit of east. So it's northeast facing. But because that building crossed that they're building, as you can see, we have no view. This is not a view apartment, but it reflects all the light back into the apartment. So we get so much light, we don't need to turn on the light during the day, which is super awesome. So yeah, this is the guest bedroom currently, and currently Louis' room, Louis, right there again. But yeah, so he sometimes sleeps on the bed over here actually too. Like this morning, <clears throat> I walked in, he was like all up under the blanket sleeping in his bed. He pretty much claimed this whole room as his. But in the future, this would be a nursery slash guest room and all of that. This is another closet. This is my wife's closet because we can't share closets. So I have the closet in our primary bedroom. She keeps this one um, here, but super large room. We got a TV, we got a dresser. Our bookshelf has gone in here. The laundry basket has gone in here. And as you can see, as you can see in the living room, my wife has done some 
window decoration. So this is her vanity area, so to speak. So she puts on makeup. This is a, a ukulele. Remember last time I played the guitar? The ukulele is a little different. Okay, all right. That's enough for that. Right, Louis? Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. You want to be in my vlog? Paw? Louis, paw? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Louis, down. Good boy. Good boy. I'll give you a treat later. Now we enter into the kitchen area. Now, the funny thing, even though this apartment is twice the size of the one I was in prior, we have less counter space, less cabinet space, which is super annoying. So the first thing my wife did was bought these shelves right here, which is awesome. So it's for all the mugs and then all of the, the pastas, the grains, the trails mix and all of that right there. And then we bought this island to use as a dining table, as you can see, slash more counter space for prepping, cooking. And what's super cool, we have all of this storage under here with the pots, cookbooks, wholemeal cookies that my wife made. Victoria, you want one? Um, right here. And then we have this huge stove. So we had an electric stove in our last apartment, which we absolutely did not like because it just didn't, it took a lot more power to cook and bake. We had to turn it like 10 degrees more than if we would on a gas stove. And also it just it made our electric bill super high as well. But we have a five burner gas stove. We never even use this burner. This is this is luxury right here. You have an extra burner that you don't need to use. Um, and obviously your microwave storage right here. I have to show this because this is all the containers. If it was to me, I would throw all this away. But um, all the containers and the cups and stuff that we don't need. Um, but yeah, so small dishwasher. We had a full size dishwasher in the last one. Like I said, bigger stove, small dishwasher. Under the sink storage. Um, we got a new air fryer. This is also an air fryer up there, but guess what? Our other one broke and we got the same one. I used it one day and then it just died. It's very upsetting. So we have to get a new air fryer, which so far has served as well. Let's see if it'll last six months and then past six months. We're probably gonna keep the kitchen footprint the same when we renovate, but probably I'm uh, gonna change out all the hardware, paint the cabinets, probably a white, change this backsplash to just maybe white um, subway tile backsplash and get rid of this 2006 countertop that I hated so much. We'll actually build an actual island here, which also have a white quartz top and a lot more storage. It'll probably be a little longer than this one as well. What I'm really excited to do, because if you look in that bedroom, there's so much space, we're gonna push this wall back like two feet and then put it up a couple feet and then create a little dining nook right here. So that bedroom will be a little smaller, but still big. And then that closet won't be in there anymore and possibly build a pantry in the closet. So, I don't know. Guess what, guys, there was a Costco down the street here in Astoria. I was so shocked when I saw that because I'm like, I feel like I'm living in the suburbs for real now. There's a freaking Costco with a huge parking lot. Like, we don't have a Costco size apartment. <laughs> but there's a Costco down the street. Anyways, that just really shocked me when I moved here. And over here is the, the living room where the chilling happens. <laughs> um, we got a new couch. We got rid of our blue one because between getting a puppy and moving and eating on the couch because we didn't have a dining table, it was just ruined. So we got rid of it. Um, this used to be in our bedroom at our old apartment, my New York Paris portraits, which I really love. Currently, we do not have shades. Eventually we will get shades because eventually there will be people living over there in those apartments when that building opens. So we will get shades eventually. New coffee table, which we got at a thrift store. This is my my go-to chair when I come home after a long day of selling real estate in New York City or negotiating a deal and being frustrated by buyer or seller or management company or attorney. Um, <clears throat> And also, the, you know, the TV is right across from there as well. But it's really super comfortable. And then kick my foot up on this little ottoman beanbag thing, which we got for like 30 bucks. It's not going to last long, honestly. But um, it was cheap and, you know, we don't have an L-shaped couch anymore. And you want to kick your foot up. So this worked out best. But yeah, speaking of real estate, guys, I recently just switched brokerages actually about a week ago. So for the last two and a half years, I've been with the Bizarro Agency, awesome firm where I learned how to sell real estate. It was small and this is what I was looking for when I was getting into sales. Um, but I recently just transitioned over to a new brokerage, uh, Corcoran, um, in New York City. It was the number one real estate firm, um, according to the real deal, in terms of sales volume. So, you know, I'm here, I got an opportunity, um, a nice offer, so I can't, you know, I just wanted to take this opportunity to level my business up and just take advantage of the resources that they offer, which is no slight to the firm um, that I was coming from, but you know, just 
you want to always move forward in life and this was purely a business decision so yeah i moved to astoria and now i'm with a new brokerage so those are two things that have happened in the last maybe six months since you've done a vlog if it's been that long it's probably been longer all right cool so this is a relic from my bachelor pad days this lamp is the only lamp that has survived um that journey so this wall let's talk about this wall right here this wall right here i don't know why they did this people like this for some reason my wife likes it it absolutely i absolutely abhor this wall because they did it in the tones of the floor obviously it's matte but we're getting rid of this wall where we renovate like this is coming now it's just going to be a regular wall maybe you paint it and make it an accent wall but i absolutely hate it. they had a giant diamond shaped sconces on here that i took out when i got here i was like there's no way i'm living with that so this is the primary bedroom um we got a king size bed honestly it's too much space on the king size bed <laughs> like honestly i didn't think we should have got a queen in on honestly but um so yeah it's king size bed i i still sleep in my corner she's going to a corner and it's like a gap in the middle but whatever um but king size bed we got a nice fluffy rug which louis peed on the first <laughs> week we got it so i had to scrub it and there he's behind victoria right there look at louis he's just following us around what's up you want to be in this tour all right i'll get you a little tour yeah it's me and louis say hi all right you're gonna get me so many views louis um so this is the closet right here i would show it to you because it's much neater but my videographer stuff is in there currently <laughs> um so yeah so like i said we have no view this is a rental building across that's gonna have a pool on the roof looking at the new york city skyline so we have to make friends over there because we're gonna have the most awesome building ever over here because the room is so big way bigger than the last one this is my home office area right here. Oh, did that fall? This fell down. That's what dropped. Oh, <laughs> we're in the other room. I was wondering what that sound was. Okay, cool. I really need to get um, sticky thing of my jiggies to put that back on the wall like it was at my last apartment. But yeah, this is my office area currently. I usually own, I don't work from here much anymore, but I still have a desk and I use it for recording videos and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> but currently what you're standing in is my is our future walk-in closet. So the space is huge. So probably from right here, where it's light switches, will probably be where the closet ends. We throw a pocket door sliding, we'll put some lighting in here and then build shelves all the way up to the ceiling and all the way around for this walk-in closet. That is a passion project of mine that I want to do is have a walk-in closet after living without a closet for so long. So yeah, so that is the apartment tour. Um, this is a condo. We live in Astoria by the waterfront. Um, we're not super close to any trains. We're about a mile away from the train, but there's a bus stop right out there. So you can take the bus to either the N train or to the F train get to the, but it's really quick to get into the city once you're on the train. It's like two stops on the F train, my Lexington and then a couple more stops. And I get, need to get where I need, I need to get <laughs> a couple more stops and I get where I need to go. But we're actually super close to the city. There's also the ferry, which is like a seven minute walk from here. And then once you get on the ferry, it's four minutes across the water and you're on East Lafayette Street. But um, yeah, Astoria has a, has a lot to offer. Um, there's so many vegan restaurants, so definitely look out for those vegan restaurant tours coming up soon. The Astoria version, which is super awesome. Across the building, not this way, but that way, there's a little cafe called Chateau Le Wolf, which is a dog cafe, which is where we take Louis, sit down, you can play with the other dogs in that area, and then you could also order food, not for the dog, but for yourself as well. So it's really cool to have that. And then there's Le Marché, which is like a, I don't know if it's a French market, but the name is French, <laughs> just like the dog cafe. But um, it's also a cool boutique market. You can't really get grocery shopping there, but you can get a few things. Those are just a nice few things that this neighborhood has to offer. There's also a roof deck, but I won't take you up there because it's not really super nice right at the moment. Um, there's a gym. We have a full-time doorman, which is so awesome because like when Victoria came, they called me and I just pick up this phone and I'm like, hey, send her up. But that department, there's a buzzer and you have to run downstairs to get it because I live in a walk-up. So those are the few upgrades that this apartment provides, but it's really super clutch to have a 24 seven doorman downstairs around the clock. Packages never get stolen. So this is my new apartment and I'm hoping to show you guys this again once we own it and we renovate it. And that's probably gonna be like a year from now. But um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hearing me rant about the updates in my life. And thanks for watching.